Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, vlog number 354. You ready for this? You ready for this? Ah, it's actually here. Guys, this is real. We have the Marimba One One Vibe in the studio. We have a vibraphone in the studio. <laughs> Over the last two days, I brought this to the studio in pieces and I assembled it here for the video that I'm about to shoot with this vibraphone. And like I said, guys, when I promise that I'm going to deliver something to the show, I mean it. Thank you so much, Ron Samuels from Marimba One and Alan Watson from Optimum Percussion for sending this beautiful instrument into the studio right here for the show. This is... This is crazy. I can't believe it's actually here. This instrument is brand new. It's completely untouched. Like the only person that has used it is me. So oh, this, is, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Obviously expect a full comprehensive review on the studio show for this instrument because it is absolutely stunning. It is a $10,000 vibraphone. It's a premium vibraphone, not a student one. It is just, I can't believe it's here. And it looks so good next to my marimba as well, like it has the curve, and there's the curve, and it's like aesthetic. I'll go back to talking about the vibe in a second, but look at this. We are on 4,999 subscribers on the Adam Tan Studio channel. I am really hoping we hit 5k. Let me just refresh it. Let's see if we hit 5k. Ah, ah, ah. Nope, we're still on 4999. Hopefully today we hit 5k, but thank you so much guys for supporting the studio channel. By the way, if you haven't already checked out the Van Slice video that I did with Matthew Lau, check it out, it's on my channel in the description below. Okay, so anyway, the vibraphone, why is it here? Why do I get to have it? I'm sure you have a lot of questions and I have talked about the vibraphone before, but I didn't think it was going to come this fast. The only reason why the One Vibe came so fast, in fact, it came on a plane. It took only one week to arrive from the US. That's right, this is directly off the factory floor so it's as new as it gets. He only came this fast because as you know Matthew Lau came to UWA for a masterclass as you saw in the last vlog and we thought it would be really nice we being Marimba One, Optimum and myself we thought it'd be really nice to get the One Vibe in early so that we could get it in time for Matthew's masterclass but unfortunately it didn't come in time so instead it's just here for the show which is really good because I really didn't think it was going to come anytime soon if it had come by boat it would have taken probably a couple of months to come it might have only come here after PASIC which would have been ages away so I'm really happy that it's here right now in the flesh in perfect condition uh, it's just it's just amazing now a question that you guys have been asking me on my story a lot is do I get to keep the vibraphone is it mine did they send you a vibraphone for free obviously not I don't get to keep the one vibe it is purely for the show but Marimba One and Optimum Percussion have been very very kind in letting me borrow it for a couple of weeks so that I can shoot lots of videos with it and also show it to anyone who might be interested in buying it over here but yeah all that means is I get a brand new one vibe to use for the videos and test out and again this is the first one vibe in Australia that is not in a shop so Optimum has a couple in stock but no one has bought one yet this is the first one <sighs> it's crazy like the first one is in my studio right here right now you guys remember this time last year I talked about the One Vibe on the studio show and obviously I had never seen one in the flesh and it wasn't even out yet but thanks to Marimba One I had a few exclusive details that I shared early on and basically we hyped up the vibraphone a lot and I'm glad to see that the hype is not unfathomed like it's not unnecessary it's actually a really really nice instrument but I would love to own the One Vibe I would love to buy this but unfortunately I don't have that much money to drop on a vibraphone so anyway, things that I like about the One Vibe real quick, if you don't want to watch the full studio video, let me sum it up for you. Firstly, the design. I love this curved resonator thing, which is again the same as my marimba. It is just gorgeous. There is nothing else on the market that looks like this right now. Secondly, I really like that the resonators are black. I'm not a fan of gold resonators and gold bars. I think that's just very 80s, very gaudy. Um, I really like this understated black design. It's very nice. Thirdly, I know a lot of my friends, Matthew, and some other people on my story that have commented and said that they prefer the silver color 
color of the One Vibe, but I actually really like this gold color. It's a lot more understated than something like a Yamaha gold, which is more yellow. This is more like a white gold. It's really, really nice in person. It just it, it screams of quality. I also like that the pictures are engraved on the side. That's a really nice touch. Next thing I love is the gas lift feature, which is exactly the same as my Izzy. It has the numbers on the side as well to tell you exactly what number your preferred height is. And yeah, it's a really strong gas lift. Like, look at this. These are so tight. I don't think these are going to break anytime soon. Okay, so I've just released both joints right now. Watch this. See, the gas lift supports it itself. It's so nice. It's actually so nice. I don't want to overdo it because obviously I only just got this instrument, but let's put it back on 87. Also, this particular model of One Vibe looks very different to the one on the YouTube channel of Marimba One. They changed the motor design. Like you used to have to put this belt over a set of wheels and then every time you wanted to take the resonators out, you had to take the belt out and it was really annoying because like if you break the belt, that's it. But now you can see the belt is actually independent of the resonators and it uses these little powerful magnets so that Literally, there is no contact between the actual motor and the resonator section. Like, look at that. It's just magnets. It's awesome. I think these are like those neodymium type magnets. But yeah, this is a feature that is, again, exclusive to Marimba One, and I really like it. Also, if you use the motor, which is at the back over here, this very nicely designed motor with the slider and the power switch and the run and stop button. If you put it on stop, fans always stop in the vertical position, which is this position, which is open. They always go a little bit extra to stop in the vertical position. Even if you flip the switch when it's like this, it just stops like that, which is fantastic. The frame itself is super light. It's only 50 kilos. So literally even a weak person like me can lift all of the parts of this vibraphone by myself. And yeah, even when it's all connected together, it's still pretty light. As usual, all the hardware is made in America. I love all of this simple toolless installation. It's very, very simple. And this pedal, notice how small the pedal is. It's super compact. So when you take this pedal apart, you have to take these four things off the top and then it just slides out. And it's so simple to put in because it has a strap. Now, a lot of people complained about this strap. They were like, oh, it looks so cheap. But actually, it makes so much sense because you can adjust the strap very easily. When you're done with it, you can tie it up and wrap it up. So it's very, very compact to put away. And it's cheap to replace. I mean, it's just a strap. You have three mounting points that you can put over here. And then you have another thingy over there. And it's just... Ah, oh, it's such a such a cool thing. And yeah, I love these small pedals. I hate those pedals that are like super big and super horizontal, like the Musa type design. I'm not a big fan of that because it doesn't make any sense. Like, why do you need such a big pedal? This one is easy to rotate. It's really small. If you don't want it to rotate, you just turn this and then it doesn't rotate as much. It's, ah, oh, it's fantastic. The aluminum frame is great. It is super light, as I said, super sturdy. Doesn't feel like it's gonna fall off. And the resonators do not wobble, you see? No wobble, it's like super solid. And as you can see over here, all of the slots that the resonators sit in are rubberized, so there's no vibration, there's no creaking, there's no clicking, no extraneous noises. I love the small touches. For example, the felt here is so that when you put the pedal down, it doesn't make contact with the metal. Like, how good is that? There's some more felt over here, and at the bottom, there are Velcro straps, just small Velcro straps, there's four of them. So like, when you fold these legs inwards, you use these Velcro straps to keep it in, and then that way it just comes as one piece. Like, it's just genius. I also like that they've blacked out pretty much everything, like these springs, which is the same as my marimba. It's just, all these small touches really add up. And finally, the sound. I'm not gonna give away too many details of the sound, because I want you guys to watch the studio episode for that, because I don't want to record it on this camera, it doesn't do it justice. Like, when you play this thing it is a huge sound like it is so big and fat and I don't even know how to describe it like it just it sounds so good so yeah overall marimba one's first attempt at making a vibraphone is just spectacular like honestly I <laughs> I sound like I'm endorsed by marimba one I'm not but it just it's just a really well thought out design it's a really solid instrument it improves on a lot of things that I don't like about other vibraphones. There are not many Australian version 1 vibes like this. You can see the power plug is Australian. There are not many of them in Australia. In fact, there are not many of them in the world. I'm pretty sure there's literally five and one of them is this one. So <laughs> I'm feeling the whole exclusivity thing here. <laughs> but yes, I will talk more about the 1 vibe in my studio video. And of course, you'll hear a full comprehensive sound test. I'm just sad that Matthew couldn't come here and play on the vibraphone. Like, that would have been awesome, you know, Marimba One artists playing Marimba One stuff, but... Oh, it's so nice. Okay, anyway, my posters are ready for pickup. That is my Marimba Dreams posters. And I will apologize in advance to my UWA colleagues because I'm going to stick them oh. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs>
I ordered quite a lot actually because it's super cheap to get them from university. Like I think I ordered about 40 and it was like $15. It's so cheap compared to Officeworks. So I can't wait to go pick that up. I have to pick it up before 5.30. That's when Uniprint closes. Have I hit 5k yet? That's the real question. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, yeah, 5K, 5K. Congratulations to the studio family. We have hit 5K, ladies and gentlemen, today on what day? It is the 22nd of September and we have hit 5,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. Oh, man, it's taken me a long time to get to 5,000, but we are there. All right, I'm gonna try and see if I can pick up my posters. It's now 5.15, it closes at 5.30. <laughs> Guys, I have the posters. Look at this. I literally got in just before it finished, like literally at 5.30. I have some of just me, I have some of the actual poster, and I have some of Therese at the back. Where is it? There's Therese. Hello, Therese. So many posters here, and it was only $23.87. That's super cheap. <laughs> Well, hey, guys, look at all these posters. This is insane. Basically, like, so I stuck off about 20 posters at music, and I know people get really, like, itchy. I don't even know what the word is, itchy, but like, people just get really irritated. That's what I'm looking for. People get irritated when they see me putting up posters. Uh, it's happened before for my undergrad recital, for my honors recital, and my master's recital. I put, like, a fair amount of posters. I'd say it's a fair amount. And honestly, I'm not really sure why people complain about it so much. I've heard a lot of people talking about this on Facebook, like the whole idea of promoting yourself as a musician, as your brand. These are all things that we should be doing. Because if we're not performing, then why are we being musicians, you know? If we're not happy to promote our performances, then why are we being musicians? Why should we be shy of promoting stuff that we put on? It doesn't really make sense to me. And also, this is an official university event, so I don't know why people are complaining about an official university event being promoted at university. I mean, that's just natural. See, so yeah, if you see my posters at UWA, uh, I hope they haven't been torn down by the time you see this video. <laughs> but seriously though, they turned out pretty great. I'm pretty happy with them. Yes. Ta-da! Feature wall complete. <laughs> it's a 4x5 grid of our face posters. I've still got some leftovers. I was gonna do a fifth column, but I think that's probably too much. So that will, that actually looks quite okay. It kind of looks like a window from here. Yeah! <laughs> I didn't realize it was so massive. <laughs> it looks huge. Oh man, that is, that is great. Something like that. <laughs> so far, my practice is actually going really well. I actually <laughs> didn't expect it to go this well. I have practiced the Piazzolla. I can memorize up to bar 116. I think the total amount of bars is just under 200. So that's a good start. And I am actually going to play the Sapin, the Sibelius that I just played just then, which is this. And the reason why I didn't continue with it last time was because I got stuck on this bit. I didn't quite know how to stick it. And then I sort of slowed down and figured it out really slowly. And it's actually really straightforward. So it's just memory. It's not actually like technically choppy or anything. So I, th I think it's really nice. And it's actually tricky in the sense that it's like, a lot of memory work and if you play the wrong note it's blatantly obvious. I've gotten about halfway through the heart section now so I'm gonna go and do the unthinkable. I staved myself off nuggets for about three weeks already and I'm craving them so bad. Okay all right all right I caved into temptation okay I'm sorry. So my plan is after I eat these nuggets uh, I'm not gonna eat nuggets again for another three weeks. That's that's the deal, okay? Once a month is okay. After that, no! By the way, if you haven't already subscribed to Cherise's channel, Cherise's YouTube channel, search Cherise mm, on YouTube. I think she's the first one that comes up, but 
you have to look for this video that she's just done. She's done her very first vlog. That's right, vlog. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen Therese do a vlog before. And this video is about the Marimba 1 3100. So no one else has reviewed the 3100 before. And Therese went to Optimum Percussion, as I said in the previous vlog, to test out marimbas. And here she is testing out the 3100. So if you want to see what she thinks, go to this video right now. I'll leave it in the description below. Yeah. I think I am done for today. I've practiced for quite a while now and obviously I've played around a little bit with the vibe and the marimba but I didn't play much of the vibe today because I left today exclusively for playing, not for filming. So that's why none of the filming apparatus is out. But yeah, it's kind of strange standing here with my little parking lot of marimba one gear <laughs> and that uh, massive four by five feature wall. But anyway, thank you so much for watching today's vlog. I know it's a bit more normal than the previous two which have been about taking other people out. This is more just like a usual work day, but hey, we have a vibraphone in the studio. Like that's a pretty big deal, you know, just when I started this show a year ago, and by the way, hitting 5K subs as well. Thank you so much for that. When I started this show, I never thought you'd get this far, you know, like the, to the point where you can actually have like a vibraphone sent to you for free, like, whew. So thank you so much to everyone who's been watching the show. Thank you so much to everyone who has believed in me enough to make this whole thing 
Like I always have to pinch myself whenever I'm standing in the studio because just a few years ago, I mean, just like maybe even 11 or 12 months ago, I would have thought having a studio was impossible. And now here I am, you know, having my own space. It's a pretty decent space and I have instruments and I have gear and I have gear and I have stuff and now I'm playing concerts and stuff like this is just, this is great. So thank you so much to everyone who supported the show and everything and thank you to you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time for another vlog remember Hong Kong is coming up very 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 soon it is on the 4th of November so <laughs> it is like less than two months away I'm really scared but yes yeah, so I'll see you guys next time thank you so much for watching and good night <laughs>